uh, ito sa mga ninuno natin ito. Ito yung mga national heroes natin, Bonifacio, mm. uh, all the uh, uh, leaders of the Katipunan, they were all training in our knees. It was a rebellion sport. It was a rebellion sport. That's we, fascinating. This wow. sport and my hair standing at to no end <laughs> because it really was popularized and, and really developed because of our revolution against the colonizers. Basically, this martial art helped liberate the Philippines during the Philippine-Spanish War. And it was, again, in the Philippine-American War. So imagine, sariling atin na ito, and this has so much historical significance for the Filipino people. And that's why we're trying to put that in the consciousness and awareness of every Filipino that our niece is not just a sport, but it's practically our history. It's in our history. It's in our blood. Every risk that I take, every bone that I break, just do The art of Arnis has been around for hundreds of years. But it wasn't until the iconic Bruce Lee introduced and elevated it into Hollywood lore did the Filipino sports get notoriety on the international martial arts stage. A few decades later, Sylvester Stallone used it in Rambo. A few decades after that, Matt Damon did the same with a born identity and then four of the biggest franchises in cinema history followed suit. Now, our Philippine national sport is more popular around the world than it's ever been. But this isn't about any of that. Before you go to the court, yeah. feel very nervous because you don't know what's going to be the reaction of the people in front of you. But at the same time, you're so excited na nandun ka na. Pressured din kasi maraming nanonood at saka mga nag nagchichir. Na-pressure na po ako sa taon, na natatakot ako. Uh, ang naramdaman ko talaga po is uh, first ka ba, nanginginig na medyo nanlalamig. Pero kailangan mong i-control pag nandun ka na sa loob. Nandun ako sa mindset ko na Nag-training naman ako. Um, this is Philippines. Nandito ako sa homeland ko, kaya kailangan galingan ko. Parang medyo confident ako na medyo pressure. Nagahalo siya. Um, sa akin, excited pa ako po. Excited ko may pakita sa buong mundo kung ano talaga yung Filipino martial art. Kung ano talaga yung armies. We tell stories to keep the wolf from the door, Ken Burns said. The wolf being the sheer panic of our inevitable death. But stories, stories bestow immortality. This is the story of how a group of young Filipino martial artists took the Southeast Asian Games by storm.
So, nung nakapalo na po kami na nakapuntos na po kami, may kumpiyansa na po. Uh, first, nung first ko na nakahit ako, uh, yun po yung nagbigay sa akin ng motivation. Uh, yung moment po na hindi ko makakalimutan kasi sobra ang, ang sarap sa pakiramdam niya. After mo nakahit ng first hit, parang nai-release lahat ng, lahat ng pagod mo, gano'n. And then, parang mas nandun yung eagerness na you want, you want to win this. And this is my game, so this is mine. But like all champions, the journey of the Philippine Arnis team wasn't without its external trials. One of its fighters, Ross Ashley Monville, faced a very different dilemma outside the arena. So, yung isang player ko kasi si Ross Ashley, may problema po kasi yung nanay niya na sa hospital po kasi may problema sa pag-iisip. So minsan pagka sinusumpong o ito lang nagbabantay, uh, nire-request siya ng family niya na umuwi para magbabantay. Doon. So na-disturb yung training niya. So kailangan natin siyang bigyan ng time na mag-umuwi uh, at i-recover ulit yung training niya. So medyo hindi siya nakakonsentrate doon sa target namin na training hours. Medyo kailangan namin mag-adjust at siyempre kailangan mo siyang alalayan dahil nga may problema siya sa family niya. Separated yung parents ko and yung mami ko kasi, uh, meron siyang ano, uh, bipolar affect affective disorders. Kasi pag may bipolar disorder, parang mood, uh, excessive mood swings. So, bigla siya nag-iisip bata. There was a time na ano, pupunta siya ng school, tapos sisigaw siya doon, nahanapin niya ako, tapos papagalitan niya ako. So, since elementary talaga, ganun na siya. So, Ah, nabuhay talaga ako ng... <laughs> nabuhay talaga ako na yung mam ko lag nagkakasakit. Balik siya sa mental institution kasi ah, dahil nga dun sa, ano, sa condition niya. So, ayun, medyo nahirapan talaga ako kasi it's hard for me to train ng... Ah, mahirap kasi, ate, mahirap kasi. Siyempre, iniisip mo yung mother mo na siya yung, uh, siya yung nagpalaki sa'yo tapos magte-training ka, wala ka magawa, hindi mo siya mapuntahan kasi you need to focus on your goal eh. Yun, yun talaga yung medyo mahirap na, na pagdaanan ko talaga. Meanwhile, the rest of the team were focused on the goal at hand, the gold medals. And among all that stood in between them and eternal Southeast Asian glory, one country put the fear of God in their hearts. Um, malakas po talaga yung Vietnam kasi yung trainer po nila galing po sa atin sa Pinoy din po. Since 2005 daw po, uh, meron na pong nanggaling dito sa Pinas na coach where is si Sir Gatsby po. Pumunta po siya sa Vietnam para magturo. Siya, sabi po ni head coach, siya po yung mga pinakamagaling na coaches na pinagdala sa ano sa Vietnam. Nakikita namin first day parang po lumalaban na sorry. Uh, more on live stick po sila. Though, malalakas naman po sila sa padel and mabilis po silang mag-adapt. Para naging first fighter ko yung ano, Vietnam. Para naging crucial siya ay parang championship na. Sumasama yung kaba ko dun sa pangalan ng Vietnam eh. Finals ko siya, um, nakasungkot siya sa akin ng isang round. So, umabot kami ng third round. Nahirapan naman din ako sana kasi magaling din talaga. Kabado din po kami, pero at the same time, alam namin na malakas sila, kaya nagtatrain hard po talaga kami para i-beat sila.
Throughout it all, one man stood as father, brother, friend, financier, and mentor to the team. Juan Miguel Zubiri, three-time Senate Majority Leader and a street fighter, who quite conveniently happens to be a former world champion and the single most loved and respected Arnis combatant of all time. I'm so happy for them and each and every one of them have a story. Franco, each and every one have a story, has a story. They did not reach there because of their uh, connections. They did not reach there because they had paid someone to put them there or they had begged somebody to put them there. They fought it out like true fighters, gladiators. And I'm so proud of these guys, how they made us win. You know, if I can, if I can, really, it's just, it's just an amazing moment for all of us. And, and I really, I really hope and pray that people know the stuff that they went through to become champions, Sea Games champions. And, and it's, it's, it's tough because they had to stop schooling. The soldiers had to leave their families. They had to leave their families, all of them. I'm just so proud of them. I, didn't, I just told them to fight the best of their ability. I didn't ask for any medals. I didn't say, you have to win a medal, you have to win a gold medal. They're the ones telling me, no, boss, we namin lahat. I didn't ask them to win all these medals. You know, I was happy to be, if we were overall champion, and even if we didn't, as long as they did their best. Match after match, the Philippine fighters annihilated Vietnam. The previous record for gold medals won for Arnis was three. They won 14, more than any other sport that year. Sa akin po yung una kong laban, bago po ako mag-finals, one... 1-0 din po. Nahirapan din po ako kasi mas matangkad po yung kalabat ko. Our score is 1-0. Uh, sana po is 0-7 po. Yun, ang score namin 3-0. Nakita ko po yung score namin 7-0. Nag-end siya ng 4-2. to the victory ceremonies of the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. Nung sinusuot na po sa akin yung gold medal, um, naalala ko lahat ng hirap, lahat ng pagod na nadaanan ng bawat isa sa amin kasi alam ko na hindi madali para sa bawat isa sa amin yung naranasan namin. And then, gusto ko yung kinanta na yung national anthem kasi dun ko na-feel na sobrang, sobrang sarap Sobrang saya, sobrang nakaka-overwhelm na sa atin yung RDs na Pilipino tayo. Yung saya ko po, parang haabot lang yun talaga. Yung walang, hindi ko ma-explain. Ma ma parang hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa, parang hanggang hindi ko, hindi pa ako naniniw, hindi ko, hindi ako nakapaniwala na parang naabot ko yung pangarap ko. Parang nananaginip ako na ayaw kong magising. And the gold medal goes to the Philippines, Pilyardo V. Punamay. Masaya masaya kasi unang-una nang nasa katulad, nasa military nga sa field. Ang kinatatakutan ko talaga yung balutan ako ng matawat ng Pilipinas. Kasi mas na binatulutan ka ng matawat ng Pilipinas sa mga sandalo, ibig sabihin patay ka na. Ngayon parang natuwa ako kasi <laughs> doon ako binalutan ng bandera ng Pilipinas na buhay ako. Kaya masaya masaya talaga proud na proud ako kasi nagawa ko yung gusto kong gawin. Tsaka lahat ng taghihirap ko nagbunga. So sa akin po, sobra, sobra po ako na-overwhelm kasi po, as in, di ko po alam na ayun na po talaga na, na gold ko po pala. Tapos, iba po talaga yung feeling po pag nakuha mo yung ninanais mo. So, there is no impossible with God po talaga. Yun lang po. The champion of full contact pedestic women's lightweight division from the Philippines, Ross Ashby Monville. Dati, isa lang ako sa mga nanonood, tumitingala sa mga players ng Pilipinas. Tapos ngayon, ako na yung nagsuot ng medal, ako na yung nakagold. Para ka kasing sa larangan ng sports, para kang hero ng, ano, ng mga kapwa atleta mo. So parang sobrang saya kasi ikaw yung representation ng mga bawat atletang Pilipino. Sobrang saya lang talaga.
after kong maglaro ng finals, tumawag siya. Ayun, sabi niya, ay ano, congrats na. Galing-galing mo na panood kita sa TV. Sabi ko, pag uwi ko dyan, lahat ng gusto natin bilhin, bibilihin natin. Sabi ko na sa kanya. Kasi sunod-sunod yung bigay ng medal sa kanila na for gold. Ano? Yung mga in-expect ko na mananalo, hindi ka masyadong inano, hindi ka masyado siyang nafe-feel. Doon ako nafe-feel yung hindi ko, hindi ko iniisip na manalo. Sa akin naman, kilabot at saya na grabe na nakuha rin namin. And, ayun nga, yung sobrang lahat ng pagod, hira, puya, sobrang na natumbasan. For just six months, in preparation na nagkasama-sama kami, nabuo kami bilang isang national team. Sobrang worth it. Harry Truman once said that in reading the lives of great men, he found that the first victory they won was over themselves. Self-discipline came first. In their eyes as they pass was not the inebriation of their triumph, rather the simple look of being present in the moment, as though they had been doing this forever and nothing else. I would say that the is a way of life. Kasi nga, halos dito na ako namulat kung saan doon nahubog yung mga kakayahan ko, talento ko. Simula nung bata ko, nilalaro ko na since I was uh, grade 3, nag-arnis na ako. Ang, hindi, na, hindi na po ako sumubok ng ibang sports, arnis lang talaga. So, ang arnis talaga yung parta ng buhay ko. Um, arnis sa akin, um, para sa akin is teacher siya. Ang dami kong natutunan dito. Da kailangan mo talagang mahirapan talaga, masaktan. Kasi proseso yun eh. Proseso yun kung paano ka magtatagumpay. Uh, parang kasi sa akin yung arnis, parang tinuturin ko siya na boyfriend ko. <laughs> yeah. I mean, parang tinutur tinuturin ko siyang uh, relationship ko na uh, Dito-nurture ko yung pagiging skilled ko sa Arnis, nagtitrain hard talaga ako para ma-earn ko yung mga medals. So, sobrang inspired talaga ako. Even sa studies ko, na-excite ako mag-training. Siyempre, kailangan kong ma-perfect yung mga exams ko for me to uh, still train Arnis. Kasi kung bababa yung grades ko, hindi ako papayagan ng parents ko na, ano, na makapag-training ng Arnis. So, kailangan ko din talaga mag-aalam mabuti at mapagsabay yung pagiging athlete and student ko. Kung sasali ka sa armies, sa sports na to, kung hindi matibay yung loob mo, kung hindi mo isina sa puso, talagang susuko ka. So, Unang-una, larong Pinoy natin yung armies. Tsaka pangalawa, yung armies talaga, eh, yun yung talaga, yung sport talaga natin, eh, yun yung kumbaga, para sa mga kabataan, para mag, hindi, hindi, hindi ma, wala, maligaw ng landas yung laro ng armies, para i-encourage sila. At first, it was just a game for me, a simple, a simple thing. But after, afterwards, I realized ko na, ito pala yung buhay ko na gusto ko, gusto ko maging represent not just only for myself, but for my family and for my country. Hindi lang to para sa sarili ko, and I know that this is part of history because Arnis is our game, is our national sports, and we should be proud that it's here from the Philippines. I want um, a rebirth of mar this martial arts and sport with the Filipino people. I want this to be played in every school, in every club, in every corner of the Philippines. Similar to what they do in Brazil where they play football, you know, in the corners of every street corner. I want kids to be playing uh, abanico or a play sinawali in front of uh, each other in little corners of the school. Make it part of the PE curriculum. That's all we want to do. So, Wherever you go around the world, you say, Filipino. Are you Filipino? You know Arnis? Yes. You get a stick and you start twirling it around like an expert. And I'd like that to be uh, sort of like second nature for our Filipino people.